Everybody. Here you go. Hey everybody, this is my pond homestead and today we are going to show off our farm. And we're gonna start with the ducks. The ducks? Mm -hmm. Okay. Come on, Mom. Alright. And as you can see, I have a candy cane. Yes you do. Alright, so over here at the ducks. Uh last year, last or actually this year, it's still this year, it's still twenty twenty. Um, last, uh, I believe it was summer, this past summer, I started doing uh, a front pallet fence for the ducks. Because if you remember, I had it cut off back there, about where that red house is. Um, just on the other side, just the side of it. And uh, decided to um, do the whole fireplace, around the whole fireplace for the ducks. So I started building this wall and I really liked it, so I actually went ahead and uh, did the whole side, it goes up and down and then all the way back. Now that side back there is all uh, fence. There's actually probably about three layers of fence back there. You have pig fence, um, there's barbed wire and it, it's just so overgrown and the fences are pretty much just mashed together that it's actually a really good um, fence line. So I, I didn't mess with it. Uh, it's the same with along this back here. They actually have like a, kind of reminds me of a chain link, but it's it's tall enough and it holds them in. Um, except for one section, which is right there. So I really have to watch that section um, to make sure nothing gets in. Uh, but I did go ahead and put up some um, duck fence, kind of like this right here. As you can tell us this is all mangled from the ducks jumping it and stuff like that. Um, but that's why I'm going to do the pallet. I actually want to do the pallet along this side and then maybe eventually on the inside of the fireplace. Um, and then hopefully their fencing will be done. Um, get the, the flower bed will run all the way around it as well. Um, more rock and stuff like that in the area. And then this, this section will be done. Um, I just had like 40 projects going on last year, so it didn't get all done. I did manage to get most of my plants done and most of it mulched in. I'll have to do mulch again and eventually around the whole thing. Um, we started to dig the ditch. It's been really hard because there's a bunch of tree roots, but we wanted to get it just a little bit deeper. So as you can see, it will stay full of water a lot longer. Um, we dug that out probably a couple months ago, just playing around to see what would happen if we did dig this out. And uh, it's had water in it the whole time. So uh, even whenever everything else is dry. So we're gonna do probably from this side over, we probably won't go right against the fence, but we'll dig that out. Uh, we'll probably just do a, a small trench so that way it can run through if it ever flows, um, but that it won't get too deep here um, for whenever I, I'll build a cute little bridge or whatever. And then we'll, we'll dig a ditch out over here as well. As you can see, there's huge tree root that right there is actually a big tree root so we would and that's just from them um digging it out deeper when it was flooded over the summer and stuff they actually dug it out themselves so we'll do a little bit of that as well um when i do the pallets over here i'll do kind of like i did over here where it runs straight out so actually the fence will probably end up running straight out to about right here and then go over and I'll probably have it come out just a little bit farther so that way the fence isn't sitting into the ditch. Um, so hopefully we'll get started on that next year. Um, you wanna go show the pigs off? Go see how they're doing? Yeah. But it's held up really good. Um, I literally just screwed it together. Like that one probably needs to be screwed in a little bit more. Um, but I mean, for the most part, it holds up together. It comes around here. Um, you can see I, I used, um, I didn't, even, it is kind of wobbly, but it's not, the ducks really aren't gonna mess with it too much in certain spots. Uh, and if they do, they're, it's tall it's enough to hold them. Might have to get a, might have to get a stake there. Um, hey, quick. But I just did these little stakes here, just enough to hold it in place. <laughs> When I started to do it, I got probably down to that tree, uh, a little bit past that tree actually, and it all kind of went over, but I was able to just set it up slowly and then get my stakes in there. It's not even, it does not run even, 
but that's what I like about it. It's, it kind of just, I don't know. It just, I like it, the way it sits. Uh, I basically just take pallets, come in half, and then you see one goes tall, short, tall, short, and that's because that's the other half of the pallet. Um, but I thought it gave it character. So, um, another thing, one other project I'm hoping to eventually work on, I have all of this, uh, it's like a greenhouse roofing type stuff. Um, and some beams was given to me and eventually on the deck um, from the front uh, railing right there I just I kind of want it to come out over the house the the front door we'll take that little awning off um, but do it all the way across the the deck and kind of make it like a, a just a shelter out on the deck so that that front half along the trailer will be um, sheltered and then you're still going to have the deck the rest of the deck will be open so that's another project wow. yeah so we always have hummingbirds every year and we're always finding these little nests and believe it or not they will come and yell at me during the summer and spring and fall um not so much fall, but to let me know that, hey, we need more, more food. So, so here's our pigs. This is from our second litter. These are the boys. Um, we're hoping to maybe sell these um, or even take them to the freezer. Hi, guys. These pigs, like I said, are, are very uh, lovable pigs. I mean, I can get in there and I don't have to worry about them biting me or anything like that. They might come up and nudge me with their nose. They don't have tusk right now, so I don't have to worry about that just yet, but they will eventually. These are the girls from the second litter. These are the sisters of the boys. I know. Um, maybe breed these guys. Uh, I'm not sure just yet. Uh, and these are the girls from the first litter. Uh, this is Peanut, and this is Piglet. Piglet was the runt. Uh, the first litter that got smashed, and as you can see, she actually looks fairly well. Um, let's see if I can't get in here with them. Oh. Excuse me. Uh, so there she is. See, I'm in. I'm actually in the pen. Yeah, don't touch me. You're getting mud all over me. Don't touch me. So I do have to watch these guys because they do have tusks, but they actually know how to make sure that they. I mean, if they want to get me, they'll get me, but. They actually are very gentle about making sure. No. Come on, back up. Excuse me. Oh. Uh, that's another reason I built this kind of fence. Uh, I could just jump over it. So, oh my goodness, you're making a lot of noise over here. I know, you want more food. I got treats inside, so. Uh, and this is dad over here. So yeah, boy, boy, girl, girl. Um, and so far it's working pretty good. So, uh, except for Georgie over here, I'm going to walk in. This is a kind of a, just a run. This, this paddock here is just another area to get them out of their pens. See, it's fully grassed and everything. So it's, um, different, uh, texture on their feet when they come over here. It's, uh, you kind of want to rotate them and get them off the same ground. Um, Mr. Georgie over here, that's my boy, um, Big Hoss, tends to, as you see, tear everything up. He's moved my bricks, he's bent my fence, he's broke my fence, he's, I'd taken some <laughs> bags for the pallet over there to try filling in just to kind of make a wind block, so I just built him a quick shelter because he's broke every other shelter. And he has pulled them all out, so. And he obviously does not like this house because he's not even sleeping under it. He's pulled all his hay out to the middle. So I don't, I'm going to have to figure something out for him. Um, maybe if he'd stop being a butthead, he would have a nice warm shelter because it was set up pretty nice for him. But he's also starting to tear up my fence back there, which tells me I'm going to have to get bigger uh, T-post and redo that fence probably soon. He can't get out because he's so big. But I don't want anything else getting in. Um, I have Mama over here still. 
I believe Mama is blind anymore. She seems to be kind of wandering around, doesn't really, can't really see. She acts like she can't see anything. Um, but she's doing pretty good. I need to get you more water, huh? Um, I need to dig out her um, pond down there as well. We've talked about between her fence and the, the duck's fence of doing a small uh, pinned area over there for another pig um, or another set of pigs or something or maybe if we breed some of the, the girls with dad uh, this this door goes into the side shed now she doesn't use all of that side shed she actually only uses maybe a quarter of it um, so one thing we talked about doing was on this other side. Again, don't mind my mess. It's This is all my scrap wood that I'm gonna use to build houses and stuff or whatever I come up with. Anyway, you can see where her fence kind of comes out a little bit right there. Um, so we talked about from this corner of the shed down to the, the duck's fence and we'll probably do another fencing in between the wood and stuff. Um, but this would be a paddock and then maybe we could put a door in kind of up here towards the front and then build from like not quite over to that door but maybe just down a little bit uh all the way down to where it connects to her fence because her fence runs this way in the back side of the shed she's actually just on right next to that window hers runs this way so we can run another one this way have another door there and that'll give us another shelter for um any other pigs that we're breeding right now we've just got hers because she's our only breeder at the moment um Sometime I'll have to get in there and maybe show you guys exactly what I'm talking about uh, doing and stuff for for that setup. Um, but that's where we put our breeding pigs. Everybody else just, they're out here. Um, I obviously need to give them all more hay before it gets cold again, but it's, it's actually warmed up. Um, on this side, just on the other side of the, the girls, Peanut Piglet's paddock, there's a section in between theirs and the, the goat's uh, side paddock. And there's a um, foundation back there. You can kind of see where the blue car is. It sits inside of it. Right now I've just got a bunch of junk. It was a uh, an old shed that they had burnt down. Um, and they had just had a bunch of junk in it. I went through and cleaned it up myself numerous times. Um, however, I keep putting junk back into it. Just because I don't know where to put it at the time. Um, or at least until I can get rid of it. Um, but it's got a foundation and then there is actually like a concrete pad. So what I thought about doing was eventually putting a shed there to where, maybe I can walk up here and show you a little bit better. Uh, putting a shed in here to where um, we can do like a milk, uh, goat milking shed. Um, oh, are you going to get me? Chance is going to get me. I see you. Hi there. This is Chance. He's our indoor cat normally, but I gotta let him out so he doesn't ruin my house. Anyway, as you see, it's got a, an outside foundation. We thought about putting a shed down inside of that, actually. Um, over here, there's a gap, and it's kind of like a ramp. I thought about doing a door there so that I can just let them in here and maybe doing like a, a step up here or something and a side door over here. Um, and making this my milking shed. And then over here, like I said, you can't really see it, but there is concrete hole in this section. It runs up right against their fence. Uh, I thought about building a wall there and maybe using that to store maybe equipment or something, lawnmower or even, uh, even our extra hay or something uh, so it's not in our shed. And I can maybe have our, or our garage, I can have our garage back. Oh, excuse me. Um, but then what I would do in that case too, is I'd probably take this fence, I would bend it to where it comes out to the corner, well, not quite the corner. Um, I know I thought about maybe the corner here, I guess I can have the door going in this way and then have it run down and then I could still walk down to the back side and then exit out that way if I had to to get them. Um, there's that ditch that runs through here so I can't go too far over. Um, but it curves and it goes through all the pigs' paddocks, which I need to dig all their ditches out, except for George. He's, he's done pretty good on his. 
about the only thing he's done good on. That and breeding. Um, for right now, though, we decided to take some pumpkins that we was given to us. And we just kind of threw them out here. Hoping that maybe next year they'll grow on their own. Uh, we'll have pumpkins again. Uh, last year I had a pumpkin given to me. Uh, I had left it on the porch for too long and it got mushy. And I just kicked it off to the side. Well, this year it grew back and we ended up getting about seven or eight good sized pumpkins um, and didn't have to go anywhere for pumpkins. Um, so we're gonna try it again this year. So over here, off to the goats. Hi guys. Hi beautifuls. Hi. Yep, it's me. Excuse me. I'm gonna have to fix this gate eventually. I think what I'm gonna have to do is just take my, oh, oh, easy there. Take my hinge, as you can see it comes up. I've got a thing here. I actually had a zip tie holding it for a long time. It lasted for about two years. It finally just broke. So I had to do this bungee cord real quick. But this tends to slide up so then it falls off. Um, so I'm thinking about maybe trying to lower this and flip it to where it's on the bottom like this so then I won't have the chances of it breaking anymore. Uh, other than that, the fence does really good. Um, I do have to put a lock on it because they know how to lift that gate. Uh, there are paddocks over here. Uh, thanks to Cosmo, busted my gate just maybe a month or two ago. You can see my hinge is held really, really good, but I'm gonna have to uh, fix this eventually. As of right now, I'm not too worried about it because it's winter, so I'm just kind of letting them roam it all. Uh, these are their summer shelters. That's why it's got the hole in the bottom so they can get air during the summer. It gets really hot over here, and there's not really a whole lot of shade, so that's where they go for shade uh, for about two, well, I'd say about three to four hours out of the day. Um, so at least this way they're still able to get air um, and, it, and it keeps them dry. However, they do get shade during the, in the mornings because of all these trees. So this whole thing's shaded. Uh, and then this tree will kind of shade it, but during the afternoon, they have that little tree out there to shade them, this one right here. And it's not much shade, so. Uh, and then over here they have these, this is like a big vine. It might grow back this year, they went through and cut it down on the other side and was kind of clearing it out. But it's a big vine taking over everything. And uh, it normally shades the whole side so that, cause it kind of grows over. So they will just lay underneath it and still be out. Um, you can kind of see maybe over here, the fence kind of from here, it kind of comes out and then down and then finishes over. Uh, because there's a blackberry bush over there that my husband would not let them have. He said that was his blackberry bush. So we left it. Uh, we also left the front half from their fence to the front fence open to kind of do like a, uh, a place to, I guess, like cut grass and stuff for them to, to munch on, to snack on. But hey, you need to get down. You're gonna fall, child or break my bin. So in here, um, well here, let me show you. You can see what I was talking about earlier. This is the, the front section that I thought about on the other side of this fence. Uh, I'm gonna make the door here, cause like I said, it's a ramp. So I think it'd be perfect. Um, I'm gonna have to fix that cause that's getting kind of big. That's okay. Uh, I thought about taking it and actually putting it in front and making it run instead of off to the side because then maybe they couldn't do that. Um, there's a door over here that I built for them. Um, I did rebuild their doors as well. I made it out of pallet wood. I'm going to have to fix this one though. This is the front top hinge just fell off. It's starting to crack on the other one and my latch did not stay. So that's uh, another project I'm going to do for now. Pretty much just sits there. Um, hopefully it holds. but. It seems like it's a lot warmer in here regardless. This door's not as heavy. So hopefully this year, I won't have to worry about um, it sticking to the ground and me breaking it or budging it with a uh, pickaxe because that's what I had to do last year quite a few times. Um, so, and since I put the, the wooden boards in for the walls, it's actually a lot warmer in here as well. Um, and then 
I built the wall, which has been like that for a while. And I did fencing him like on the other side to keep the big ones from jumping, but they don't seem to want to. Um, and I did have a different door that did come up to the top of this fence. It was a square fenced in. It was, it was just a door basically with this fencing in the middle. Um, and they broke the hand, the, they ended up broken the frame. So I built this nice little snazzy door and it actually is held up really, really good. Um, this piece here actually connects to this. So he's not able to push it in and it's got a latch here as well that I'm able to just latch it. I have to put this brick in front of it though, just so the girls don't, I don't take chances of them breaking that latch. Um, but that's their, the other side door that I was talking about that I built for them. It's also built out of Hallow Wood. Hello. Hello. I know. I know. Hi. This Toffee, this little sweetheart. She will, uh, she'll probably just follow me around the yard if I want to this summer. Uh, I did a couple times that let her just walk around with me. Um, but that's about pretty much it. Eventually on the other side of the, the house, it'll be clear over on that side. Um, it'll be, uh, I'm going to make another paddock for this man right here. Um, because eventually I, I hope to get maybe another, uh, goat, um, to have a buddy with him over there. For right now, he hangs out with these guys. Uh, I'm letting them all roam. She's done milking. She was my milking goat, but she's done. Um, so... And he's not getting these two pregnant very well. So hopefully these two will have some babies. Maybe she'll have twins if we're lucky. A boy to go hang with him. And a girl to hang with her. Yep. And then we can just sell these two. Oh, don't look at me like that. I love you guys. But you're doing nothing. I gotta, I gotta do something with you. Um, get some milk or something or some babies. Huh? Um, anyways, that's pretty much it. Will you get off that, please? Uh, yep, I'll see you guys in a little bit. My fingers are about froze off. I'm going to have to get inside. i got to put this clip on because I know how to lift that. They're very smart. Once a goat learns its way in and out, it will try to figure out how to get out. And they have gotten out. So, Twice. But that's pretty much it, huh? Uh-huh. So. That's all of our farm. Peace out. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, guys. Until uh, next time. Uh, hopefully, I can get my camera to work for me. Uh, I, I got an actual little GoPro camera. Um, I tried to record a video off of it, uh, but it I can't find the charger to my computer, so I can't even download it. So, maybe next time. Um, and then maybe you guys can start watching me do projects and stuff. Uh, until next time, though, I'll see you guys later. Peace Love out, you guys. Bro. Bye.